I am carving a badger today. And in this video, I want to talk about carving outside of your comfort zone. Now, I do a ton of bears, I do a ton of eagles, ton of owls, you'll see a lot of those videos. But when you're carving a new form that you've never done, sometimes there's hesitation. Now for me, I always do that. Like I'm one of the guys who kind of like puts things off, doesn't want to do it, doesn't want to like actually commit to really diving in. But this is a video where I'm going to carve it. I have to carve it because I have to get this done. Part of the bench and the other half is a badger standing on there, kind of character style, but he's got his hands crossed. So I've never done this. I, I know when I look at the pictures, I'm going to look at the way the animal's form is and also i'm gonna look at kind of the general shapes because when you're blocking you got to create shapes and then you can refine it now i'm holding this cup this is a saw valley cup i do have pink nails my three-year-old daughter who likes to have princess daddy so that's the way it is you know hate on haters um saw valley cups i'm gonna give one away every single month for the next year or two years or however long this page goes to anyone that is a new subscriber so be sure to subscribe leaves a comment and also likes these videos so liking these videos goes a long way so thank you very much i am so stoked on this and uh harm my man and i am ready to attack this video yeah, <laughs> video. I'm ready to attack this carving. Oh, and here's a little look at the elk. If you haven't seen this video, it will be linked into it at the back. So be sure to watch it to the end and, and or just go check out the page and have fun watching my stuff. So here's the bear, as I showed before, and here's the block. It is time now to design it. I'm just gonna do a blocky design and then I'm just gonna start cutting because fuck it. You just got a car. Let's go. We're gonna put these two together and I'll show you guys how to do that. But right now I need to know 18 inches is, is the height of a bench and I'm gonna make it so there's like a little tree here so I, I can uh, have the backing notched in here. So now how am I gonna do So you guys remember, if you think back a couple seconds, I just changed the block out from a normal like straight on triangle form. I realized that because I was turning the head, the bears and the badgers are both looking. Now that's why I cut it this way. So you can see like here, I cut that angle here because now my center line is here and the spine is going to be tapering down here. Now in the blocking, I'm going to clean up. And I'm going to use this as my outside because people who are walking up to this bench are going to be looking at this side more so than the left side. So I'm going to play to this side to the carve out and then just keeping in mind that this always going to be raw because I have to put a bench there and that will be in another video. I'm going to switch to a 14 inch uh, dime tip cannon bar with a uh, CS501P. When you're carving outside of your comfort zone, you just take your time, you create your lines, and look for planes, and always check your references. The one thing I find is I have a lot of different references of the animal or creature, 
or whatever it is that I'm trying to trying to carve at that moment. So what I'm trying to do right now is just block to form. And when you're blocking, you're not thinking shapes yet. Really focus on working out that form, hitting the proper changes in planes, and then start shaping in the body. Constantly checking pictures and really trying to not move too fast. You want to be quick and efficient, but at the same time, you don't want to overcut and lose out on possibly a, an important feature that a new animal might not have than one of the ones you're comfortable with. And I apologize, I fully fell and got hurt and I deleted all the footage in that fall. Super annoyed, but hopefully there's some good tips in here for you guys to enjoy this video and so, pick up some tricks. Wasn't expecting to take a tumble like that. That's for damn sure. And uh, kind of ruined the day. And hopefully the video will turn out okay. And I'm starting to bounce back because I realize I have to talk. But uh, you know, just goes to show you gotta really make sure you keep your area clean don't rush and uh when you rush you can get hurt you know my ankle is definitely not good but i don't have a choice so getting back to it i'm gonna airbrush this but i just wanted to kind of burn this paint on because i want to be able to airbrush it and really make the lines crisp but I like the gray, and uh, yeah, looking good, man. It's cool. Very cool little badger. And then I'm just gonna sand the base out, and once I sand this out, that's gonna make it pop. And that will separate it all and make this thing look all blended rather than a big, clumpy pile of mess. So all in all, when you're outside of your comfort zone, you just have to force your way through it. You know, I'm really happy with this badger. He's cool, man. He's got lots of cool colors. When you get the stain on him, it's gonna really blend in. And he's kind of got that standing, sitting look. And it really blends out really well. So worked out good, really happy. And uh, thanks for watching. My name's Ryan Cook. Give this video a like if it helped and subscribe to my page. I really appreciate it. All the support you guys have. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything at all you want to talk about. I'll get back to them. I'm not the fastest, but I do my best. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Yoo-hoo-hoo!